Hey everybody. So today I'm doing like a quick and easy, well, depending on how you look at it, canning project. So what I've done is I have a rotisserie chicken. I've removed all the meat, put it in a baggie, and then all the bones and everything are in here. I'm going to add some more water, bay leaf, garlic clove, peppercorn, celery onion, stuff like that. Make a broth and then I'm going to can the chicken. So when the broth is done, I'll come back and share you share with you <laughs> the canning process. So that's all I've done was de meat or de bone, whichever one you want to use the chicken making broth and then we'll come back and can it up. Alrighty, so the broth is done. I just did a rough chop on the leftover chicken and I'm going to stuff my jars. Probably going to have to go get some more jars. It's a carry canner project. I figured it would be small. If you wanted to, you could just fill the jars halfway with meat and the rest with broth and do them for soup times, which is 60 minutes. I would not recommend canning this chicken without broth because I think you'll find it quite dry. And you can use it for the same thing you would your other canned chicken. Sandwiches, enchiladas, taquitos, pot pies, soups, it's whatever. So, I'm going to have to go find some more. Well, I'll do a quart. If I just fill it halfway, it can go in for the same time. As the pint and I plan on doing a meat times video I'm just busy with doggies in the yard and stuff right now so now in the jar. Can you all see? Gonna have broth to can. Woohoo! I 
I might just use the Presto and put everything in there. Let the broth just go. I think that's what I'll do. If I'm going to have all this stuff. Bonus! I love bonus canning, but I'm still going to have to find more jars and get some vinegar. So I'm going to fill up the rest with the uh, broth and then we'll come back and put this, well, we'll come back. I debubbled, so we're going to use some vinegar on these rims and then we'll put them in the canner. Okay, <clears throat> so we got some vinegar. Gonna wipe our rims really well. Ding. Ding ling. So we are going to do this canner for 75 minutes since I have pints that are full of meat. <clears throat> I have a quart that is halfway full of meat and halfway full of broth so it will go for 75 minutes as well. And then the broth would normally be 20 minutes for pints and 25 for quarts. But we're going to go ahead and let them go with the meat. Get those rims really clean. I was expecting two jars and I've got six so I'll be back I need another lid and some rings okay I think we're situated now rings fingertip tight so if you have some leftover rotisserie chicken pull all that meat off Boil up that carcass. Pack it and can it. And you might end up with some bonus too. the lids to my bottles because I have a ton of those. So we're going to match up the V on our lid to the V on your handle right there. So how's y'all's weather? It's not necessarily hot here but the humidity is ghastly. It's just awful. Okay, see, 
if you're not on camera, it's way easy. Okay. So that button back there will pop up. This is going to vent for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, put your weight on. When your weight comes to a rock, adjust your heat for a gentle rock and set the timer for 75 minutes. Pints, 90 minutes. Quarts, or like I said, you could do the soup times, which has to be half broth, half meat, and that's 60 minutes pints and 75 minutes quarts. So, if you have any questions, let me know, and I will be back when these are coming out of the canner. Okay, I'm going to get these babies out of here. Sorry, I was focused on that it's hot stuff. So looky here. We have chicken and broth. Broth. <laughs> Out of that little bit of leftover uh, rotisserie chicken. So that's not bad. That's not shabby. So, and what you could do is you could pick those bones and whatever little broth was left and can that in like these smaller jars for your dogs and think about them and put some stuff on the shelf if you have uh, dogs or cats or whatever you know don't waste anything I guess so just a thought of what you could do with some of the leftovers put it away for the pets so anyways just wanted to share with you you can can up that rotisserie chicken so if you have any questions let me know down below let me know some of your penny pension ways and share with people down below and i will see you all in the next video stay safe stay healthy bye